Good morning. Welcome to our Statements of Support session. It's very good to see you here today. And um, very exciting to see Professors Briggs and Ford heavily involved in a close conversation. Uh, best theologian, best scientist from the best and the second best university. Andrew Briggs is at Oxford, poor chap, but in every other way, he's almost perfect. Right, that has got them to sit down. So, welcome. I am going, I am going to say this only once, so pay close attention. First of all, I'm going to pray, because that sometimes results in people stopping talking. Come, Holy Spirit. O oh Lord, fill our hearts with compassion and love, that we may, albeit amidst formality, with our statements of support, stand in compassion, in empathy, in profound commitment with the suffering. In Jesus' name, amen. Welcome to our Statements of Support session. Each primate has been asked to share something of deep concern to their province at this time. The Statements of Support are opportunities to offer prayerful solidarity with a number of our provinces. They are offered to us as a communion, they are offered to us as a communion so that we might stand with them in the spirit of one Peter, sharing in their sorrows as well as in their joys. I will invite each primate to come up to the lectern and simply read the first sentence only, the first sentence only, la première phrase seulement, and I can't do it in any other language, um, of their statement of support. There will be no introduction and no commentary. They will simply be asked to read the first sentence. I will call up the representatives of each province in groups of three or four, so everyone is ready to take the stage. The reason for this is, I'm, and I'm sorry to be so sort of controlling, is we've a lot to get through, and we need to get through it ideally by 10 to 10, so you have a break before the next session. So please, when you come up, just the first sentence. When every statement has been, uh, when the first sentence of every statement has been read, we will have one minute of silence when we will offer up in prayer all those situations that have not been shared and parts of the world represented in this room that we may not have heard from. You might be thinking of your own country or region or that of a fellow bishop that you've heard from this week. We will also have an opportunity to pray specifically for Kenya and Brazil and the Philippines, which will be having general elections in the coming weeks, Kenya on Tuesday. And, and also for Iran. And then we will have a two minute silence in solidarity with our dear brothers and sister from Japan as we remember that this is Hiroshima Day, the first time that an atomic weapon was used in warfare, closely followed a few days later by Nagasaki, and that, by the grace of God alone, 
was the last time. And in the two, two minutes, let us pray that that indeed will be the last time. So let us begin with Archbishop Titre Ande, Archbishop Hossam Naum, and Archbishop Sami Fauzi. If you'd like to come up, and if um, and if Bishop Robert Innes. Archbishop Ezekiel Kondo and Bishop Azad Marshall, moderator Bishop Azad Marshall, would get ready, please. So please do come up near the um, thing and uh, just the first sentence in the language of your choice. We, the bishops of the Worldwide Anglican Communion, called together by the Archbishop of Canterbury for the Lambeth Conference in 2022, reaffirm our commitment to peace, security, and democracy in the Democratic Republic of Congo and the East African community at large. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you so much for setting us off right. Statement from the Episcopal Diocese of Jerusalem. We, the bishops of the Worldwide Anglican Communion, called together by the Archbishop of Canterbury for the Lambeth Conference in 2022, affirm the vital historic presence of Christians in the Holy Land, the living stones, where our Savior Jesus Christ lived, died, and was resurrected. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Thank you. Archbishop Sammy. We welcome the province of Alexandria as a full member of the Council of Anglican Provinces of Africa, the Middle East Council of Churches, and the All Africa Conference of Churches, and the World Council of Churches. We, the bishops of the Worldwide Anglican Communion, called together by the Archbishop of Canterbury for the Lambeth Conference in 2022 from the provinces of the Anglican Communion, offer a statement of support regarding the situation in Ukraine. In Ukraine, not the Ukraine. Please note that should be in Ukraine, not in the Ukraine. The Ukraine is a translation of a description of a frontier area belonging to no one. Ukraine is a country. Please make a manuscript change to your draft. Thank you, Your Grace. We, the bishops of the Anglican Communion, called together by the Archbishop of Canterbury for the Lambeth Conference in 2022 from the provinces of the Anglican Communion, support the Episcopal yes. Church of Sudan in their desire to participation in a dialogue for a durable peace for the good of the nation and for a democratic government. Thank you, Your Grace. Please could, uh, please could Archbishop, His Grace Archbishop Justin Bardi, Chairman of the Global South, uh, uh, Bishop uh, Kirti Fernando, Presiding Bishop in, of the Church of Ceylon, and uh, one of the bishops from Myanmar, please could they get ready to come up. <clears throat> we, the bishops of the Worldwide Anglican Communion, call together 
by the Archbishop of Canterbury for the Lambeth Conference in 2022 from the provinces of the Anglican Communion express our solidarity with the Church of Pakistan. Thank you, Your, gra uh, your Grace. Your Grace. We, the bishops of the Worldwide Anglican Communion, called together by the Archbishop of Canterbury for the Lambeth Conference in 2022, reaffirm our commitment to peace, security, and stability in South Sudan. Amen. Thank, thank you, Your Grace. My Lord. We, the bishops of the Worldwide Anglican Communion, called together by the Archbishop of Canterbury for the Lambeth Conference in 2022, affirm the peaceful campaigns of the protest movements, civil society, and the national churches in Sri Lanka in recent months for radical change in the constitutional and political structures of the country to promote the rule of law, public accountability, and governance that is free from corruption, nepotism, and mismanagement. Thank you, my lord. Could we please have the, uh, uh, His Grace the Archbishop of Tanzania member, Archbishop member, Archbishop Linda, the Archbishop of Canada, and the presiding bishop of the Episcopal Church, Bishop Michael Curry, ready to come. We, the bishops of the Worldwide Anglican Communion, called together by the Archbishop of Canterbury for the Lambert Conference in two, 2022 from the province of the Anglican Communion, sent a statement of support to the people of Myanmar. Please pray for peace and reconciliation. Thank you, my lord. Uh, Your Grace, Archbishop Member. In the language, people are welcome to speak in the language of their choice. Thank you. Sisi maskofu wa shirikisho la makanisa ya anglikana ulimwenguni. Tulio itishwa na askofu mkua kantebari kwa ajili ya mkutano mkuu wa Rambeth wa mwaka 2022 tunatoa mawazo na nia yetu ya dhati kuungana na wenzetu wa uanglikana ulimwenguni tukishiriki kwa pamoja katika wito mkuu wa kanisa katika kudumisha utu na uhai katika maeneo yote yenye fujo Tukiomba inchi zote zilizo na kanisa anglikana ulimunguni liungani nasi kupigania haki ya uhai na uzima na kuzuia fujo mahali popote zinapoipuka. Mungu atusaidia. Thank you. Asante sana. Oh, Grace. We, the bishops of the Worldwide Communion, called together by the Archbishop of Canterbury for the Lambeth Conference in 2022, affirm our commitment to the rights of indigenous peoples in Canada and around the world in accordance with the United Nations Declaration of Rights of the Indigenous Peoples. Perfect, thank you. Bishop Michael, presiding Bishop Michael, um, if Art, is Archbishop, His Grace Archbishop Josiah here? If he is, could he come forward? If he isn't, I'll do it. Oh, he's coming. Bishop. We, the bishops of the Worldwide Anglican Communion, 
called together by the Archbishop of Canterbury for the Lambeth Conference in 2020 from the provinces of the Anglican Communion, are deeply grieved by the continued news of mass shootings in the United States. Thank you. Your Grace. Bishop, Bishop, daga ko ina a dunia na darikan Anglican da gayyata daga shi baban Archbishop na Canterbury muka zo wannan taro a Lambeth daga ko ina na baban lardodi na angelikan daga ko ina a duniya yau muna nuna goyon bayan mu da gaisuwan mu ga su yan uwan mu mabiyin addinin Isa Almasihu a Nigeria muna ba ku goyon baya kuma muna cikin addu'a Allah ya kawo sulhu a Nigeria Thank you, Your Grace. Hausa? Uh, Hausa. That was in Hausa. <clears throat> we, the bishops of the Worldwide Anglican Communion, called together by the Archbishop of Canterbury for the Lambeth Conference in 2022, reaffirm our commitment to the treatment of refugees and migrants as made in the image of God and therefore deserving of equal dignity and respect. If you are comfortable to do so, please stand. We're going to have a minute's silence. At the end of that, I'll offer an opportunity for those others who have not, who have thought of something they would like to say um, from one per province, no, no more than one per province, to come and make a one sentence statement uh, that will command general support. But we have one minute's silence of prayer lifting before God the terrible suffering of those situations of which we've heard and hearing them in our hearts and minds. We pray in silence. We pray in the name of Christ Pantocrator, almighty ruler of all things. Amen. Please be seated.
Before we go on to Iran, Kenya, Philippines, are there any, and Brazil, um, any particular one sentences that you wish you'd brought up? Thank you, Grace, for this opportunity. I'm Ezekiel Kondo from Sudan. Uh, I know many people don't know much about Sudan, but I know many people have been praying for President Bashir to leave the presidency who ruled 30 years. And in these 30 years, Sudan emerged two countries. That is Sudan and South Sudan. Why? Because we could not live together. And we thought maybe the independence of South Sudan will give the rest of the country to live in peace. Unfortunately, it is not. We still fight one another. Since October last year, killings have been happening, demonstrations. People are not ready to talk to one another. So I appeal to you. Please continue to pray for Sudan. Thank you. Thank you, Your Grace. And thank you for your courage and heroism. Moderator, I think I know which country you're going to mention. Just briefly. <clears throat> thank you, Your Grace. Very brief. Pray for the very small and the silent or silenced church in Afghanistan that faces incredible pressures from extremism, the country is at risk of international neglect and widespread isolation and famine. We need your prayers. Thank you. Thank you. Vou falar em português. Nós, bispos e bispas da Igreja Episcopal Anglicana do Brasil, estamos muito preocupados, fortemente preocupados, com a realidade que estamos enfrentando. E pedimos o apoio desta conferência para que se busque praticar e, e encontrar o, a, a justiça ambiental a justiça social e a justiça econômica e que nos ajudem internacionalmente a lutar em defesa da democracia e por eleições justas e livres. Thank you, Your Grace, my Lord. Uh, Central America. Nos proclamamos en Lambeth 2022 por el abuso y la corrupción de América Latina y oramos por un justo por el uso justo de los recursos de los países. Your Grace, uh, my Lord, thank you. Mexico. A nombre de la Iglesia Anglicana pido las Oraciones de todos los aquí reunidos por las víctimas de la desaparición forzada y las familias que se afanan en la búsqueda de sus seres queridos desaparecidos, por los migrantes que transitan en nuestro país, por los refugiados y por el cese de la violencia en todo el mundo. Papua New Guinea. Sorry. 
Thank you, Archbishop. We, the Anglican Church of Papua New Guinea, support the freedom of the people of West Papua under the rule of Indonesia. If the freedom can be given and supported by the Anglican Church of Papua New Guinea. Thank you. Very good. I'm glad you did that. I think this will be the last one, I'm afraid. Suffering for others, not for yourself. Glorify his mighty name. Please pray for people who are ready and have courage to give their lives to save others. Thank you. Thank you from Pakistan. I hope that like everyone else, that I hope that all of us feel our hearts break at the suffering we have heard about, at the evil of those wicked people who cause it, and that we turn to Christ. This brings us um, to prayer for Kenya. I'm going, rather than asking a Kenyan bishop to pray it, because the elections are on Tuesday, and all the Kenyan bishops will be facing the need to keep calm, people calm in their own diocese, please would all the Kenyan bishops stand? Please would all the Kenyan bishops stand? Thank you. I'm going to pray a prayer. If you're near a Kenyan bishop and they are happy, please do put a hand on a shoulder as an indication or hold a hand as an indication of our deep support for them as they approach this time of trial. Let us pray. Loving Heavenly Father, you love the people of Kenya. As they decide on their government next week, we pray for leadership that is just, truthful, and acts for the good of every person. For your church in Kenya, and especially the ACK, we pray for your strength to witness in word and deed to the transforming love of Jesus Christ, for the wisdom from above, which is first peaceful. We pray for peaceful elections and courage for all those who seek to be peacemakers. May they know your encouragement and our prayers at this time to the glory of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And secondly, Brazil may have a general election in October. We know some of the tensions there are. Let us pray for them too. Please, would the bishops of Brazil if they're comfortable to do so, please would they stand. Thank you. Loving Lord, we are astonished. We praise you for the beauty of your creation that we see in Brazil. As we continue to learn of the threats to habitat and the treatment of indigenous people, we cry out for leadership that will govern with justice and righteousness. We pray for government at every level that will treasure the gifts and inheritance of all its people 
and especially its indigenous people, and care for creation as we are called to do. We pray that the nations of the world, of which Brazil is a lung that brings oxygen, will support and strengthen the people of Brazil. And we pray that you will bless your church, strengthen its witness, and give your bishops your peace. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Thank you. And yesterday we heard from Bishop Guli something of the history and contemporary reality of the church in Iran. Let us remember they are a church without a bishop, a flock without a shepherd, living with them, from among them. I've invited Bishop Guli to pray for the church in Iran. Iran, in its smallness and isolation, has nobody to represent it here, so can I invite you, if you're able, to please all stand in solidarity. Let us pray. Ever-living God, whose church is strengthened by the blood of the martyrs, we thank you for the witness of the Anglican Church in Iran and pray for the faithful remnant who endure. In suffering, sustain them. In fragility, nurture them. In isolation, surround them with your love. May we see your presence in the small and vulnerable, for the bruised reed you do not break, nor the smoldering wick snuff out. Renew us and the persecuted church in the message of hope shown in the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And of our specific uh, places for which we are now going to pray, uh, please would the Philippine bishops and the bishops of, uh, if they're here, of the independent Philippine church, please stand. Our Lord and Gracious God, unite your church in the Philippines and give them strength with a new government. Bring their bishop in exile who has not seen his family for two years and may not see them for another four or five. Bring him back from exile transform government that it may be made in justice, may be able to hear criticism and change habits. Bless the Philippines with peace in places of war and struggle. Bring reconciliation, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Finally, on this Hiroshima day, we are reminded of the threats to every piece of life on this planet, to all creation and every human being, that nuclear weapons pose to us, and the ongoing evil of warfare that targets the innocent. We are now, as we sit, going to hold a two-minute silence and then say together, pray together, each in our own language, the grace. But first, a two-minute silence on this Hiroshima day as we remember its victims and those of Nagasaki.
So we pray together, each in our own language. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and evermore. Amen. Thank you very, very much, and very many thanks, especially to those who brought uh, requests for statements of support. And these will be duly sent out and publicized in the, according to their particular needs.